From time to time, you may be required to do research and present your research findings in either the form of a report or perhaps a presentation or maybe even a video. And your teachers may want you to cite your sources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Chrome extension that will allow you to cite your sources in just a couple of clicks. The Chrome extension that we're going to look at is Cite This For Me, and you'll see it up here next to the Omnibox at the top of your browser window. To use Cite This For Me, you simply need to bring up the website that you're doing that you obtained your information from. So exam for example, I'm doing a project on penguins and I got some information from this web page right here. So I'm going to bring that web page up and I'm going to click on Cite This For Me. Now you will notice that Cite This For Me allows you to do citations in multiple different formats. At Norfolk Public Schools, we like to use the MLA format, so I'm going to be sure that that is selected. Now you have two options here. I can actually just copy and paste this into my Works Cited or my Bibliography page, or if I have several sources that I need to cite at one time, I can actually add this to a bibliography, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say Add to Bibliography. This is going to open up the Cite This For Me website. It's going to show me the information that it obtained from that website in the reference, and I'm going to click Add Reference. And what this is going to do is going to compile all of my sources on one piece of paper, and it's even going to alphabetize them as I go along. So I'm going to continue using uh, this bibliography page for my sources. So I'm going to pull up my next website. Here I got some information from this particular page. I'm going to click the Cite This For Me site, uh, extension. There's the citation, and I'm going to say Add to Bibliography. It's going to let me double check and make sure that I have everything included. I'll say Add Reference. And again, it's going to add that to the same page. So to cite web sources, it's really simple. But let's say you have images that you're also using for your pro project and you need to cite those as well. So I found this um, Emperor Penguin on Wikimedia Commons, which is a really great place to go for images. And I have all of this information down here at the bottom that tells me things like the author's name, the date that it was taken, so on and so forth. So I can actually use Cite This For Me for that too. This time I'm going to go to Cite This For Me and I'm going to look over here at the different types of sources that I can use. If I click on More, I can choose online image or video and it's going to give me a form to fill out. Now I need to find as much information on this form as I can off of that uh, Wikimedia Commons page where I found the image. So I filled out as much of the form as I could, including the year that the image was published. I've given it, I've given it a title and description. I've added the URL of the ad, of the website, and I've also put in the date that I accessed the picture on. I'm going to say add reference and it will add that reference to my bibliography. I can also cite books. So if I used a book to get information from, I'm going to choose the book option here, and this uses auto cite. So all I need to do is enter the title of the book, the author, or the ISBN number. I usually like to enter the ISBN number, and that's something that you can find on the back cover of the book. So once I've entered the ISBN number, I'm going to click search and we'll see if it finds it. There is the book that I used. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and it's automatically going to add that to my bibliography. So when I'm finished citing my sources, I'm actually going to click copy and paste. I have a Google Doc that I've already created that uh, for my bibliography. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to switch over to my Google Doc where I have my Works Cited page already started and I'm going to paste in my references. I don't need the word references there because I'm doing a Works Cited page, so I'm going to get rid of that. And there are my Works Cited. So I can now hand this in to my teacher um, to let them know where the sources of my information came from. So using the Cite This For Me Chrome extension can make citing your sources really simple.